never let me go I lay it all down again To hear you say that I'm your friend You are my desire Nothing else could take the place to feel the warmth of your embrace. Help me find a way to bring me back to you.
Merry Christmas. <laughs> wow. Christmas marks the end of Advent, the end of waiting. Christmas marks the end of the anticipation and the breaking in of something miraculous, the Son of God coming. We're going to pray together for something that we need a miracle for. So I'm going to update you a little bit on the situation. If you're not currently up to speed on it, you'll, you'll get up to speed now. And then I'm going to ask something of you, but only you can give, and that's your faith. That's your partnership with heaven. So if you don't know who Joel Taylor is, Joel Taylor is one of our, our key leaders here at Bethel. His son, Jackson, was airlifted to UC Davis and has undergone surgery for kidneys that are failing. They decided to do surgery today to begin to address the issue, but during the surgery, there are some complications with Jackson's breathe, breathing. They put him in the ICU and are watching him. The story that's coming to my mind right now is when they drop the man through the roof and Jesus looks at their faith and says, I see their faith. And he speaks to the paralytic man and says, walk. And so what I just wanted to ask of you was your faith in this room so that Jesus would look at this room and then move over there that he would do something in UC Davis because he sees what's happening here. So right now, if you could just begin to lift your voices in prayer and that there would be a miracle in Jackson's body. There would be a miracle in his body that right now, through the power of the Holy Spirit, his kidneys would all of a sudden start working exactly as they are intended to work. That right now, we speak to Jackson's body and we say, be healed. We speak to your body, Jackson. We say, be healed right now in this moment. Your body would have the resurrection life flowing into it, and there'd be a change right now. There'd be a shift right now. There'd be a shift right now. We speak to your body. We say, lift up, body. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Yes, God. We say right now, through the power of your Holy Spirit, through the authority of your Son, Jesus, that there be a move in his body right now, a shift, a shift, that his kidneys, all of the, all that needs to be functioning would function exactly as it's intended to be, that right now the miracle working power of Jesus would rush his body. Jackson, we speak life into your body. We speak life into your body. We speak life into your body. On earth as it is in heaven. 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 Yes, Jesus. Break through. Break through, Jesus. A breakthrough right now in his body. A breakthrough. Breakthrough. The waiting is over. We have good news. Good news. He has risen in the power of the cross over you, Jackson, and the healing power of Jesus. Yes, Lord. The miracle working power of Jesus in Jackson's body. Yes, Lord. As it is in heaven. Yeah, let's sing this together. On earth, as it is in heaven. On earth, as it is in heaven. On earth, as it is in heaven.
that you're up in Jackson through the roof, Jesus, to you. And do what only you can do. Thank you. Thank you for joining in that prayer. Thank you. Now put your hand on your heart. I'm going to pray for the Holy Spirit to do the impossible in your life. Holy Spirit, right now that the mark of the no longer waiting because the sun has arrived would happen in every single person in this room. That just as your son was born, that it marked something new, good news that shook the earth and everything changed from that night. Father, we ask right now that there would be miracles all across this room. There would be miracles all across this room. There would be from debt cancellation to lost ones coming home to resurrection to the sick being healed to the lost being found that everything your son came to do would happen in this room. In Jesus' name.